Okay, hello. Uh, so it's a new case study. I was uh, attending training school this week here, so I came to an uh, idea, maybe not to work on examples that Sebastian told us and to program in MATLAB, but maybe to also contribute in such a way to uh, present, you know, a material which was missing in the all of the presentation. So uh, I don't know who is here dealing with timber, but I will present one structure that we will we are assessing for some time. Okay. So uh, first, the main purpose of the initial investment in uh, structural health monitoring is uh, the extended service life of the building. I will show the building and I will not uh, go through these slides with the textual slides and I will just talk uh, uh, on the slides where I have figures. So uh, this is the Technical Museum Nikola Tesla in Zagreb and it was built uh, exactly 70 years ago and uh, it's timber truss system. Uh, it's one really not strange but peculiar thing. It was uh, designed to stand for one year. So it was just for a purpose of Zagreb Fair in 1947 and the snow load wasn't included in the original project of design of the, this building. And as we see it now, it's still standing 70 years after, uh, 70 years after. Uh, here are some uh, sketches of the uh, this museum. So we have timber truss roof. We also have uh, timber <coughs> truss columns here. Uh, in this direction is 80 meters. The major span here is 25 meters and altogether is 42, 43 meters. Uh, basically, it looks like this and uh, it's just simple 3D model. Uh, it's really, it was, I don't know how to say it. I was doing the assessment of this building and it's uh, not really easy to assess it. You know, here, the height of the building is one meter and you need to crawl between the trusses. And it was, so, of course, in the winter is minus 10 here and uh, uh, during the summer it's 40 de degrees inside. So uh, we were doing this, this for several years. Uh, this was our uh, flow chart, how to assess uh, the building. So we had some pre preliminary survey, some NDT, some preliminary reports, visual inspection and so on and so on. And in the end, we just uh, pointed out the main uh, faults, the main cracks, instabilities uh, on the roof. Uh, and also uh, in original projects, project there were no uh, stabilizations, so we proposed some stabilization, stabilization of the structure. So uh, yesterday I was doing this, so uh, maybe my, uh, my presentation is not so developed because I started to do it yesterday, but uh, I have something here. So uh, the main, uh, the owner is the city of Zagreb and the users are tourists, students, uh, citizens of uh, the city of Zagreb. And uh, what is really important is that this museum is under uh, uh, protection of its uh, cult cultural heritage in timber. So uh, when you assess this kind of building, it's not the same like you assess the, uh, the buildings which are not the cultural heritage. So main objective are of course extend service life. It's 70 years now, it was designed for one year and to minimize operational maintenance inspection costs. Of course, optimize management system and to avoid some reputation loss. Uh, I said already this, and uh, uh, we have some indicators and we have uh, remedial actions. And as previous presentation, uh, we have a problem with snow. Of course, uh, what's happening, it was not designed to carry any snow, but uh, in, uh, in Zagreb, Sometimes we have really heavy winters and we have a lot of snows. And uh, what is actually happening, happening now, people with the shelves are throwing away the snow from the roof. So, uh, the, I just won't go back, but what happens then? They are throwing away snow from this truss and they are putting it here and then again down. So it's, let's say it's a huge problem and uh, I think, uh, this case study can maybe 
uh, improve all of these measures that are we're doing in the in Zagreb in the museum. So, uh, remedial actions do nothing, impose some kind of a load restriction uh, or measurements how to uh, restrict the load or to replace the structure. But it's not the idea to replace the structure because it's of heritage value. So it's thousands of problems. And uh, yesterday we started to do, Daniel Honfi and, da and Dominic, they uh, helped me. This, is, this was the first sketch of a decision tree. But in the end, we ended, we ended up in this. Uh, it was for the first time I was doing this, and maybe there are some mistakes. So we have a decision, chance, and then we call it consequence in the end. So here is, this is the biggest picture of this, uh, which is in a rectangle. So do nothing. We don't have failure. We have failure, and then we have some consequences, which can be a loss of life, property loss of uh, loss of revenue. Uh, then we have assessment. So which kind of assessment? First, we can have visual inspection. Then maybe we can get satisf satisfactory results. No failure, failure. Or no satisfactory results. And I don't know, is this allowed? But to do it, to go back here to first doubt, and then we still have a chance to choose to assess it with other methods or to have an intervention here. Uh, of course, we will not go up and do nothing because we know that we have uh, some kind of problem. Uh, I just want to explain this. Uh, it's the same. It's just to visualize the, the flow chart, the, the decision tree, not to repeat all of this here and here because it was impossible to do it in uh, uh, to show it to you in a, a PowerPoint presentation. And then uh, the last thing is an intervention. So we can have strengthening of structure, load reducing measures. It can be, I don't know, a melting of snow or maybe such kind of similar measures and to demolition of the structure. And again, strengthening can be successful and not successful. And then we can have, if it's successful, no failure, but also maybe we can have some kind of failure. So this was really briefly, we were doing this yesterday. So I hope I introduce you the problem of this and I still need to do fact sheets and everything. Yeah. So thank you for your attention. Thank you.